Pose AAR 514. When Israel finally acknowledges her great offense in rejecting Messiah, then Jesus will return and establish his kingdom in Jerusalem. Psalm 1101. Matthew 2339. Don't tell me about Jesus the Lion. I just want to think about the precious little lamb. Pose AR 514. The fierce lion of Judah will come in judgment. In Psalm 110 we learn that Jesus is God and he is going to have victory over his enemies. Those who oppose Jesus will become a footstool for his royal feet. King Jesus will rule. Psalm 110 verse 1. A Psalm of David. The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand, till I make your enemies, your footstool. Psalm 110 verse 6. He. Jesus shall wound the head over many countries. The head is singular. This refers to the Antichrist, the beast, who will rule the earth in the seven-year tribulation. He is, of course, finally and quickly destroyed by Jesus. Revelation 19 verse 20. The Antichrist, the beast, fools the earth dwellers who follow him. The only remaining places that must be subdued for my master, the beast, we have fought for over three years and are almost in full control. The beast is to be worshipped. Who? Who I say? Can fight against the beast? A description of the Antichrist is found in Zechariah 11 verse 17. Woe to the idle shepherd that leaveth the flock. The sword shall be upon his arm and upon his right eye, his arm shall be clean dried up and his right eye shall be utterly darkened. I think a great leader has a fine looking right eye. I like the 666 number in it. I think a great leader is a handsome man. I'm glad he is going to let us have the 666 number too. I heard about one guy who was overheard saying that the great leader was double ugly. That guy had his head cut off. For several weeks after the beast overheard the man call him double ugly. The beast wore a mask. At the end of the seven-year tribulation, the beast gathers all his dupes at Armageddon. They are destroyed at the triumphant return of King Jesus. Revelation 19, 11 and following verses. The enemies of Jesus on the way to Armageddon. They think they will defeat their creator Jesus. The earth dweller enemies have deluded themselves on the end time doses of deception. Revelation 16 13. Armageddon. Ghouls. <laughs> Revelation 16:13. An evil spirit that looked like a frog came out of the mouth of the dragon. Megiddo Ghoul Armageddon and Megiddo is the same place in Israel where Jesus will return to slay the beast and the false prophet and cast them, along with the three unclean spirits that look like frogs, into hell. Revelation 19 verses 19, 20 and 21 The enemies of Jesus they think they will defeat their creator Jesus. The earth dweller enemies have deluded themselves on the end time doses of deception. The 666 troops gathered together at Armageddon. For their annihilation. Revelation 16, 16. Revelation 19, 17. God gathers the birds and readies the carrion for the great earth dweller feast. It is clear from Zechariah 14, 2, and Revelation 16, 16 that it is God who is gathering the army of earth dwellers together at Armageddon. Jesus will return and cleanse the earth of rebellion. Psalm 110. On the day that the Lord's fury comes to its peak, he will crush kings. You will see the dead in heaps at the roadside, 
corpses spread far and wide in valleys and on hills. Rulers, and military leaders will lie among them without distinction. This will be his judgment on the nations. King. Jesus. Returns. King Jesus destroys his enemies and cleanses the earth of rebellion and sin. King Jesus begins his 1000 year rule on earth. It takes only a short time to set everything in order and begin his reign of peace, and prosperity, and fun. <laughs>